Hi guys, it's Simon here. The second of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series episodes I'm reacting to is going to be the centre of this episode, and it is the episode 73, Fro Hagger from the Train. Now, this is an episode that everybody has been waiting to see. It is literally chock full with everything. So, I was initially waiting to do Rex and Weevil do Atlantica, um, and just reacting to that. But then, yesterday during class at Holmes Glen, I noticed this pop up in my feed. And when I saw the episode title coupled with the thumbnail, which I'm not sure if I lift it too close to the screen, which is essentially Yami tossing Weevil up into the air in anguish after Weevil put him through hell. When that popped up in my feed, after I'd been anticipating it for so long, Girl, I just about lost my bloody mind. This is accurately what I was thinking in my head. That is accurately what I was thinking. And probably now, my main headspace is my body wasn't ready. My body is still not ready for this, and I am completely here for it. After this, I expect Weevil Underwood is over party to be trending, Channel 10 and 9 go quaking in their boots for not being that over-the-top sort of slashy-slashy thing that the Japanese dub did, be quaking in their boots because they haven't shown that, and quite naturally my mind to be lost permanently. As in speaking of that, I sincerely hope that there's a little bit near the far end of the episode where they do a little extra clip thingy and Weevil's still getting slashed to pieces. Please just, that's all I ask from this episode, please just get Weevil beaten down to a pulp. That's all I bloody ask for. Let's get into this. This is my reaction to Fro Hagger from the train. Let me push the volume up a bit more, and here we go. I was barely in the new movie, but I still got paid more than Kaiba. <laughs> oh, that's what happened with the theme music. <laughs> I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> just go! It's just a bloody water pond! Train! Oh, we're not supposed to answer. Oh, yes, we are. I'm loving this. Train tracks? Or just tracks? I'll tilt that down a bit. Yeah, it's coming out a bit more clearer down this end than it would be on my screen because I have to tilt my head. <laughs> so you guys are getting a good shot. No product placement. I'm going to try and do that now with my legs. Uh, ouch. No, I can't get it up high enough. Or either the seating's too bad or my bones hurt. Either way, I'm going to try and make a separate video where I try and do that properly. The Pharaoh is having an existential crisis. You know what's a real crisis? What? The fact that nobody else is sitting like this. I tried, Henny. It's not working. Oh, Oh, for God's sake! You guys notice anything weird? Yeah, it's almost like everyone on this train 
They diverted. They decided to walk the rest of the way. It's not revolutionary. It's impossible. What happened to the multicolors? Thank you. Nice. And you're going to be in Taylor Swift style video as well on top of that? Oh, come on! No, please don't. <laughs> At least it's not the 10 hour delay that you had. <laughs> Obviously. Magic. It's actually an improvement. You lost a perfectly good opportunity to do a hello joke there. Exactly. Thank you. Someone's caring for someone's life. Even if it's your own. G bitch, your eyes are completely white. Are you blind or something now? Girl, that's freaky. You better call us fart knockers or butt munchers or something. Sorry to disappoint you, but after I'm done dueling you, all I'm going to be calling you is music. Will that be a bit weird when I win? No, listen to him. People usually call me the winner when I win. His voice is so different. Maybe he's possessed by the spirit of a mighty pharaoh who wins all the games he plays. <laughs> We're diverting from normal episode, but Jesus Christ, uh, these voices, they sound very eerily similar to those of the voices of Rex and Weevil in the series 4-1. Even more so than usual. If they've actually gotten the voice actors, I'll be very impressed. Or whoever's doing the impressions, I'll be very impressed with. Oh yeah, it's probably Little Karibo doing the voice. Oh, gee! Oh, obligatory ass shot. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, eat your heart out. And thank you, someone noticed. It was vitally necessary. Yep. Tristan was a bit of an, an, an imbecilic in this episode. Like, literally, there was no purpose served, and he wasn't exactly a good cheerleader. I got the point, but given it's a stupid ass joke, I've decided to hit my head on the table. Was that, was that the Celtic Guardian? I want to kind of hear what he said. <laughs> oh, it's attacking you. That's going to be painful for the poor Celtic Guardian though. You fiend. No one does. <laughs> I'm busy trying to stop myself from falling to death. Taya, maybe it'd be a good idea to get back down and try and get to the 
get to the engine and start moving it away from the edge that it's going to plummet off. And we get it, Tristan. <laughs> we know Tristan. <laughs> We get it, Tristan. <laughs> you had jack shit, Henny. This is actively putting me through pain. This is probably what they make people in community service do. I love this song. Oh! The scorching hot tea, Penny. The scorching hot tea. I'm living for this. Uh, no, taunt him even more. Taya, shut up. Ah, uh, there it is. Shit your pants, Henny. A disaster. <laughs> I thought my computer fucked up for a second. No, I think he's already beaten Rex. Wouldn't that be painful shaped like that? Rex, if you lose the jewel, you lose your soul. <laughs> I love probably more than I should have. Oh, bitch! Okay, that's a bit funny. Okay, that's funny when you're watching someone else go through it. <laughs> it's like Joey was under the Oracalcos influence for a second. And spin out Henny. Bye bye. Oh yeah, they did that in the original one because the dub one because they have because keeping the eyes open was a bit too creepy. I say, I say, do you see it smell something burning? What the fuck? Come on. Come on. Don't rebound from Kyber just yet. Yeah. Now we've gotten dark. I don't know where soul really is, but I know where yours is 
Bitch, you're pushing your luck. Oh, shoe size, not... Oh, this is another frozen thing, isn't it? Got it. Oh no! <laughs> Here we go! <gasps> He's doing the Japanese thing and everything! <laughs> this is so satisfying! I would have liked it to have gone on a bit longer. <laughs> Bitch, I am shook. Oh my god. See, this is why someone should have reached the bloody the bloody engine by now. The steering wheel. Yami's deck is apparently 90% monster cards. Metro has a better slogan than you. It's the dumb ways to die one. And that's pretty much it for a while. Oh my god. I am shook. When I watch the episode back without me talking, I'm probably going to be laughing a lot more than I have been. So, I have to go now. I'm going to be going to my auntie and uncle's for dinner. So... I have to go and get downstairs and get in the car, but for now, I'm going to be signing off. And there's really nothing else left to say other than, bye guys, see ya.